Hello, and welcome to LendingPad. This is a training video to help set up LendingPad for your first time use. Please feel free to pause this video to follow along during your setup. A training call can be scheduled after you go through this video to help you answer any additional questions. To begin, let's log into the system with your username and password. After logging in, click on the Settings tab at the top center of the page. Then click on Manage Company in the top right hand corner. Verify the information here is complete and accurate. If your NMLS ID number is missing, please enter it here. Next, click on the Contacts and Addresses tab and verify your company's contact information is complete and accurate. Please confirm the information is complete and accurate on each of the remaining tabs as well. You can also upload your company's logo here. After you have completed all the tabs, click Save Changes. Next, click on the Fee and Escrow Types tab, expand each category, and confirm that the default fee types are sufficient. If you want to add any additional fees to the categories, please click on Add Fee and Escrow Types in the top right hand corner. Go back to fee and escrow types, and if you would like to enter any default fees for loan origination, appraisal, credit report, settlement fee, or any other fee types, click on the edit button. Once this is complete, click on your settings tab. Now let's click on the users to add new users to LendingPad. To invite a new user, click on the Invite New User tab at the top, and from here enter the user's name and email and click on Add to List. At the bottom here, select the user role for the new edition from the drop-down and assign a user role and click on Invite New Users. From here, go back to your Settings tab and click on User Licenses. From here, you can add the ELO's licenses for each state, as well as their NMLS ID, and hit Save. Once this is complete, go back to your Settings tab and click on the Actions tab. From here, you can activate all third-party vendor services. You will need to enter your own username and password for each of these vendors. If you need the vendor sign-up information, please let your account manager know. We will now show you how to activate credit report services through your credit report provider as an example. To activate other services such as AUS or any other action that's needed, simply enter your credentials from each provider. Once this is complete, go back to your Settings tab and click on the Lead Providers tab. Please create a new lead provider by clicking on Create New Lead Provider. Under each provider's name, you may add multiple campaigns under it by clicking on the menu icon and clicking on Create New Campaign. From this point on, you may use Leads Pipeline to create new leads or import leads from the provider just created. Once this is complete, please go back to the Settings tab and click on Security. If you would like to turn on multi-factor authentication for all users of the company, click Manage Company Security in the top right corner. To activate multi-factor authentication option in authentication type drop-down, after you turn on multi-factor authentication, please review mobile numbers are correct for all company users. Alternatively, each user can go to their individual profile page and select the correct MFA type. LendingPad supports both SMS and Google Authenticator type. SMS option is the default. If the user selects SMS, please be sure to enter his, mo his or her mobile phone number correctly. 
if the user selects Google Authenticator, please make sure the app is installed first on the user's phone, then go to the profile summary page, click on show to scan in the QR code. From here, go back to settings and click on the security tab. And click on the audit tab to see the history of company users' login activities. This concludes the initial setup of LendingPad LOS. To see how to enter your first loan, pull a credit report, process the file, check out associated training videos in the support center.